Floating in the middle of a sewage treatment lagoon, these native plants are thriving. They're being used to treat the sewage water without chemicals at a plant south of Launceston. What we're doing is we are using plants and the plants, the roots of the plants grow down into the water and will naturally remove those nutrients. It's still early in the two-year trial, which is a Tasmanian first, but so far the plants are adapting well. This is the best growth we've seen of any floating wetland project um, to date. This is the most rapid biomass accumulation we've had of any other project. Netting is protecting the plants while they're growing, but will be removed soon to provide animal habitat. We've got a whole family of swans through here that I'm told are a little bit aggressive, but yeah, look, they, um, they will happily nest in there. And that's a great species to have, you know, utilizing the floating wetlands for habitat. Currently, nutrients from sewage are entering Tasmanian waterways and damaging the environment. Taswater says the floating wetlands will help to achieve its goal of eliminating this nutrient discharge by 2050. When fully established, we're hoping these plants will uptake up to 60% of nutrients, such as nitrogen and phosphorus. This sewage treatment lagoon is one of three trial sites in Tasmania for the floating wetlands. If it's successful, Taswater could expand it to other sites around the state. Ashley Barraclough, ABC News.